Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms Faction Trials video. It is 15.02, Wednesday, January the 24th. Today is Cultist Day. Very quickly, let's set the stage. A week ago, I released a step-by-step -step walkthrough for stages 10, 11, and 12 on cultists to clear their faction trials. And one of the comments that I got a couple times was, hey, you used Reeve. Of course, you're making it look easy. You've got a tank. You've got a defender. Uh, but most of the player base doesn't have Reeve. He was an exclusive champ at the beginning of global release. Uh, do it again, but without Reeve. Show us how to do it without Reeve. So I'm here to show some folks how to do it without Reeve. That's okay. To unlock power of dominance, we have to clear the stage with soul core intact, and we have to deploy three fighters. Oh, by the way, that step-by-step -step walkthrough, if you want it, I will link to that in the pinned comments below. And I have step-by-step -step walkthroughs on every single faction trial stage. So if you're struggling anywhere, anywhere, it's all in an easy-to-use playlist on my YouTube channel. Go check it out. Anyways, deploy three fighters. That's easier than it used to be, but there's only four fighters in cultists right now. We have Cyrene, we have Aatrox, we have Cerberus, and now, recent edition, we have uh, Uridin up here. Uridin's a new chaotic legendary. Um, just pulled him over the weekend a few days ago. Haven't leveled him up, but I'm not going to use him for this because that, that wouldn't be fair to use a brand new legendary uh, chaotic champion. So we're going to use the three that have been out since uh, stage 12 was released. We're going to use Cyrene, we're going to use Aatrox, we're going to use Cerberus. Cyrene is going to be our tank on the right side where I previously used Captain Reeve, okay? So build her like a tank. Build her like a defender. Give her HP. Give her defense. If you need a little bit of extra sustain, put a Lunacy Visor on her. That will incre increase her block and give her some self-heals when she's attacking. I don't have one on her, but if you need it, do it. I'm also not putting a Lord in here just to make life a little bit more difficult. If you have a Lord, use them. It makes life way easier, but for the purposes of the video, to show that you can do it without Reeve and without a Lord, that's what we're here for. So, without further ado, let's get to the run. Like I said, we are going to use Cyrene on the right side. She is built like a tank. High HP, high defense. Don't worry about it. Uh, her job is going to be to stop them from falling, from getting through on the right side and to build some cost so I can get the rest of my team down. I'm going to have Greed facing to the right. Greed puts out damage and excellent crowd control. On opposite Greed, I'm going to put Vierna. Vierna is here for two reasons. One, she helps out. She helps kill these mobs on the right side. Uh, but two, the later a flying mob will come from the left side. And if your greed is not strong enough to kill them by himself, then Vierna is there so that she can do her ult and execute the entire flying mob and you don't have to worry about it. Once Iona gets her ult up, we're going to use it. Got some more cost from... Cyrene. Now right here, I'm putting Zealous on the bottom, but if your Iona isn't strong enough to take care of the top mob by herself, this is where you would have placed, you know, a while ago at a much lower cost, uh, you would have placed Aatrox or Cerberus in the top left to help out Iona or maybe another AoE champ like a, like a Kriya or a Lysir, something like that. Uh, whichever you need. If you need a second champ up there with Iona, that's when you would have placed them. My Iona is strong enough, so I'm just going to ult, and I'm going to take care of them and not worry about it. Hollow is important here. We place Hollow facing left so that this flying mob that comes from the left, they're going to do some attacks on anyone here in the middle. So she heals from those attacks uh, so that our middle champs don't die, specifically Zealous, who we're using on this bottom mob. When they get within range, we're going to use his ult. Now, I've got Elucas on the team, rare champ. He's here. I don't think I'm going to use him, but he's here because um, to, sh to show that you can use him. He has crowd control. He has freezes. You can use him in any of the three areas. You can put him next to Hollow to help slow down these giant... Uh, you know, Last of Us type mobs so that Zealous can kill them. You can put them up top to slow down the mobs for Iona to give her a little bit more time. Or you can put them up here facing right um, to help out the mobs going after Cyrene if you're Greed and Vierna need a little bit extra time. You have big options there to help with control uh, for for wherever you need him. I don't even... My, my Greed is taking out those flying mobs so I don't need Vierna to do it. Um... 
There we go. Yeah. I was talking. I, I mistimed Fiona's ult. I thought I was going to, one of them was going to get by. That's what happens when you're talking. You miss stuff. It happens almost every single video. I'm explaining something. And I'm like, oh man, no, I missed this. It happens. It's okay. See, like right now. Pay attention, Jake. And I didn't even need to use Viernas because Greed caught him on the back end. If they sneak through, though, you have Viernas ult. Or another thing that you could do there um, is you can uh, pull Cyrene. If you need to, if she dies, you can place one of the fighters um, for the here at the end, not at the very beginning. Uh, because you don't put Aatrox or Cerberus in the beginning because over time, right, they lose health and they won't last the whole the whole match. But later on, you can place them if you need to, if you don't need them in one of the other areas. At this point, right, I still need to place three fighters to unlock power of dominance. So in theory, right, I would have placed Aatrox or Cerberus in either of those two areas. I'll just I'll just do it just for to meet the requirements. Let's use people's ults as they become available. If any try to sneak by Cyrene, we can use Vierna. Let's throw Cerberus down. Let's throw Aatrox down. And that's, and that's the run, right? Cerberus or Aatrox in whichever area you need a little bit of extra DPS. Eona can handle the top left by herself, but if she can't on your account, if you don't have good enough DPS gear on her, excuse me, then you can get a second DPS champion up there to help her out um, and build Cyrene like a tank for the right side. Greed is a free login champ now. If you don't have Vierna, use a different AoE. Uh, magic damage. They're all all cultists are basically AOE magic damage dealers. So um, she just makes life really, 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 really easy um, to execute if you absolutely have to. But it does not need to be Vierna there. Lots of options here. Anyways, um, thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, if it helped you, if you just you know want to help support the channel, I would appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Go check out one of the other faction trials videos I've done. I've done challenges also only using certain champions. So check them out. Let me know how I can help you. If you watch them and you still are struggling, leave a comment. I'll do a video just for you. Thank you so much for your time. See you next time.